Welcome to the online class of English Grammar for Grade 6. Here is your teacher Mrs. Snowla with new lessons about your English Grammar. Today we are going to study the topics of superlative adjectives and hyphenated words on page number 112 and page number 130. Let's start our proceeding. On page number 112 you have the topic about superlative adjectives. Superlative adjectives my dear students compare more than two people, places or things. Here are some examples. This room is smaller than a lounge. The word smaller is a comparative adjective, not a superlative adjective. The root adjective or the main adjective is small. For one thing, I will use one adjective. For example, I will say this is a small room, right? But if I'm going to analyze or compare the length and width of the room with any other part of the house so i will use a comparative adjective for example i will say this room is smaller than lounge now in the next example i will apply superlative adjective as i'm going to compare the room with the rest of the rooms in the house okay now let's see this is the smallest room in my home now the word smallest is a superlative adjective Whenever you are going to use a superlative adjective, before a superlative adjective, you will use article the. As you can see in the next example, he is the most intelligent boy in the class. He is the most intelligent boy in the class because I am going to compare the brilliance of one boy with the rest of all the members in the class. If any adjective has more than two or three syllables, better use more or most before them. For example, you can say, this is the most beautiful flower in the garden. Now, you cannot say intelligent, that will be wrong or totally awkward. Better say, he is the most intelligent boy in the class. Now, we are going to do our main exercise. You will complete each sentence with the correct relative form of the adjective in parentheses. Write the correct form on the line. Number one, John is the youngest member of our large family. Young is the main adjective. Since John is being compared with all the members in the family, so you are going to use superlative adjective for young, young, younger, youngest. The word youngest will be the answer for number one. Number two, Brianna is the oldest girl. Our answer for question number two is oldest. You will write oldest on the line. Number three, even though James is only 12, he is the tallest boy. Number four, I am the shortest girl in the family. Number five, mom says John was the largest baby of all. Mom says John was the largest baby of all. Large, larger, largest. Superlative adjective largest will be the answer for number five. Now that John is talking, he is the noisiest member of the family. Noisy is, uh, is an adjective. Noisy is an adjective. Noisier and noisiest will be comparative and superlative adjectives respectively. Any adjective ending with Y, right? So what are you going to do? My dear students, you will replace Y with IER or IEST. Okay. So here you have to make the superlative adjective. So you will say noisiest. Number seven, James is the biggest child. Now the spelling of biggest will be B-I-G-G-E-S-T. Number eight, Brianna and James are the closest in age. Number nine, the mornings at our houses are busiest around eight. And the last one, that is the liveliest time of our day. L-I-V-E-L-I-E-S-T. Now we are going to do another exercise on page number 113. 
that is about hyphenated words. Compound words can be written as one word like homework, classroom. These are compound words means the combination of two different nouns, home and work. Collectively make one noun that is actually a compound word or a compound noun. The compound words can be written with space like paper clip, swimming pool or with a hyphen all American 42. You can see between all and American I'm using a punctuation mark that is called hyphen. Right. If there is a hyphen between two words then it is called a hyphenated word like 42, 37. Hyphens are used in compound numbers and fractions with prefixes such as x or self or the suffix elect and with prefixes before proper noun and adjectives. A compound adjective that precedes the word it modifies should be hyphenated like up to date information. Now the word up to date it is a compound adjective. Compound adjective for the noun information. Right. Now up to date is an adjective. What kind of adjective? A compound adjective for information. A state of the art hospital. What is the meaning of a state of the art? Means modern hospital, the latest hospital. Now here is the statement of the question for exercise on page number 113. Read each sentence. Decide whether the words in parentheses should be one word, two words or a hyphenated word. Write the word correctly on the line. If the word is correct, write C on the line. Use a dictionary if necessary. Number one. We are having leftovers for dinner. The word leftovers is a compound word with no space between left and overs. Right? So the our answer will be leftovers. L-E-F-T-O-V-E-R-S. Number two, Roberto finished 25 problems before recess. The compound word 25 will be hyphenated as you can see in this answer. Number three, my brother is a self-taught tennis player. Now there will be a hyphen between self and taught. Number four, we watch his tennis matches from the fourth floor window. Fourth floor is a compound adjective for window. So there will be a hyphen between fourth and floor. Number five, the ex state university tennis coach came to his last match. Now between X and state, there will be a hyphen and state will start with capital letter as it is a proper noun here. Number six, my brother will graduate from high school next year. Now it is correct. There is no mistake. High school is a compound word. High and school collectively make one compound noun high school like a school or an educational institution where the education for grade 9, 10 and 11 or 12 is imparted to the students. So it is correct. Just write capital C on the line. There will be no space. There will be no hyphen between high and school. The word high school is one noun. So there will be space between high and school. Number seven, the actor stood in the spotlight and read his script. Spotlight is a compound word, a combination of spot and light. There will be no space. Number eight, the president elect received a warm welcome from the theater club members. The president elect, president elect will be hyphenated. Number nine, our band is playing in the pre game show Saturday. Pre game is correct, right? There will be no hyphen between pre and game are there no space between pre and game already it is correct. And the last one Angelina will bring her seven year old sister. Now seven year old all three words will be hyphenated. Now actually now this is a compound adjective for sister. So far we have done our two exercises about hyphenated words and superlative adjectives. I hope you will have written all the answers correctly. Better check the answers again for more clarification and consult some other grammatical books.
for more understanding thank you very much for attending the online class see you next time with new lessons till then bye bye